So here, here's the tricky part. Like you were all like handsy, wristy, right? Okay. So now structure in your arms makes your body respond. And the and the tricky thing is in teaching golf. There's there's this you know I've got my one of my good buddies from Bend, Oregon. His daughter showing interest. Okay, she's an athlete. She plays volleyball. And uh, she, now she's got interest in playing golf. So he sent a couple videos to me, right? And may I? Thank you. And she, you know, you can tell she's a strong gal. How old is she? Probably, I, well, my daughter's 13, so I think she's 14. Okay. And so she's, you know, she's tall, though. She looks like she's strong. And she runs around a volleyball court. So she's got muscles. And, you know, it looks kind of like, the swing kind of looks kind of like this. Right? Like, she's moving the weight of the club. But it's not like the sequence of events. Well, for her, it's not right. So think about what we've done with you a little bit now to date, right? You know, if if I, you know, the little balloons that the clowns pull out of their pocket and go, and they make this really long, they bend it into a hat. Well, an arm has to have that same sort of tension, which isn't crazy because you can bend a balloon into a hat, right? But there's structure in this, so. Here is my, when I walk into a shot, and you're doing a great job, right? You just, I kind of busted you because you weren't taking enough looks. So when you're walking and you're setting your trail foot on the ball line, you're organizing your club face and hands, but here's the clown blowing the balloon up to here. There's that structure, right? And there's the measure. And so that measures to a golf ball. And it's not resting on the ground, it's tapping the grass look, you know, and I'm, I'm taking a couple looks to make sure my loft and my target kind of makes sense. So I still have my structure in place, right? So I'm not letting the air come out of the balloons, okay? The air is still in the balloons. Now, as you start to realize that, hey, there's, you know, the waggle might give you a bit of sense of relaxation, but I assure you, it's not noodles and spaghetti here, right? There's a bit of structure, and as we are pushing and extending ourselves, so here's flexion of a body, here's extension of a body, right? So sometimes you will miss the stick, you know, as you are, there's your aim stick and ball, with a goal being to, can you collect them both? You know, so there's my structure, bent over, look, set my lead foot, trail foot back, look, okay? This little event of getting the ball and the stick, right, to this rotated, if my arms are structured, Kelly, then guess what my body's forced to do? It does. And, also, and this lead arm pushes me out of the way, rotates my booty, you know what I mean? Gets me in my bit of side bend, okay? Now, it's, we don't play golf necessarily like this, right? But there's some elements, as we start to grow this, we'll take on a little bit of development of a trail wrist bend, a little bit more trail arm bend. We need a bit of power, right, as we turn. Okay, as we have structure that helps turn us and get us off our trail foot, booty underneath us, right? The club's done its job. It's trans, you know, it's given the ball some information. Now all this stuff here is really just kind of learning how to slow down in style. Some guys kind of, some guys look like you know they kind of hit the brakes and that's their finish. Some guys, you know, or gals, the club may kind of freely go behind them some more doesn't really matter. It's that's a that's a matter of style. The ball has got its message, okay? But you've got to learn the appropriate structural feels and it really is just it, I like the idea of blowing up one of those clown long clown balloons, which I can't blow up and they can go and blow it up, right? And so then there's structure in that. Now notice, remember your video from the other day compared to Sky, that, that mini tour player? So Sky, you know, here's her pushing. That club is long and in front of her, collecting the golf ball, and it's pushing past her, right? It's not dragging a handle toward the target, because if I drag, the club comes toward me. The club comes away from the ground too much, doesn't it? You get my point? Right? So here, instead of a drag, which shortens the radius, here's a push, which helps you establish. Let me record one of these. And Take a quick look at it. And people can't see this. It was a mentor uh, coach of mine years ago that taught me this stuff. So there's the push. There's the push down my lead arm. Trail arm's not as pushy because it can be dominant. Usually a golfer's trail arms are dominant arm. Trail arm's a little softer. You do this perfect, okay? So as I clip this little shot right here, I'm pushing. 
You can't tell I'm pushing. I'm look, I waggle, right? I push, push, push. I hit a little shot, a little three-quarter punch shot, right? But the point is, when this kind of loads onto the computer here, there's a little side bend we were talking about. And you did a great job here. Okay, well, what's so fantastic about this with, in your situation is, you know, we use the stick to help motivate you to understand low point. Okay, so the, you understand that the bottom of a golf swing isn't the ball necessarily. It's a sliver after the ball, right? And so here's the push of a, here's the, the sense of push to the top of the mat, not onto the ground. So there's a business card dimension between the bottom of my club and the, and the ground. And as I'm moving this club, there's a nice radius. And I, and, I, and I can be honest with you, I'm not really trying to bend my right arm. My right arm's bending. I'm not trying to bend it. But this event through here, there's structure. And I can tell you, I am not trying to, the clubs, I'm not trying to have this look either. You know, this, this little look you see with all good players, where the, you know, and maybe you don't watch enough golf to see that. But I'm not trying to make my handle go this way. Right? I'm letting the club pass me. And if I have structure in my arms, guess what? My body rotates. My arms don't bend much, do they, on the through swing? Now, I could let my arms bend a bit and slow down a bit more peacefully rather than coming to a bit of an abrupt stop. But learning how to hit this little punchy shot's great. And you did a fantastic job here. So here's your push. You're collecting the ball and that stick. And see how nicely rotated and structured you are? Your body doesn't have a choice. Now, if you don't have structure in your arms, your body can stall and your arms can take that energy and let it, you see what I'm saying? Good, show me one more, you're doing awesome. Now don't, yeah, you can use a stick, sure. I'll put it there for you. Right, so you've got, in your mind's eye, what color is this balloon? Blue, purple, pink, what? What's your favorite color? Good. There you, there you go. There's your nice structured clown balloon. Comfortably long left arm, right? Create your radius. You looked. Uh, that was your test. You passed it, right? Good. Push, push, push. Okay. Now, hang on a second. Did you miss? You did. Why'd you miss? And that's okay, right? Now, think about this. There is certainly... No, no, I'm glad you don't. And it's probably mild embarrassment that you missed in front of your coach, right? And that's okay. But obviously, this club has to pass through a space where the ball lives, right? And so when you are, when you are in here, there's, there's a sense of, okay, let your eyes rest on that. Let your subconscious kind of say, all right, I know where this club's got to pass through. I'm not, I never look at a golf ball like and stare at it to have eye-hand coordination, but I, I generally have a, you know, awareness of where the ball is so that this club can pass through that space. So have that, like, let your eyes rest on that ball. Let know the club's going to pass through that space as you're pushing. You'll do great. Okay, fantastic. Okay. You know, if, if somebody saw you hit pitch shots with that technique, they'd be like, that lady can flat play golf because that looks like somebody who knows what they're doing, right? So the, the behaviors you're kind of using right now to move yourself are really, really good ones. So let, let, here's an example, right? So face on down the line. Here's your down the line of that last shot, okay? Here's your, and so here's the thing. So this push or this sense of structure from your center downward, right, to this point, here's what it's gonna feel like. It's gonna feel like spokes on a wheel. You know, the, a wheel's round, right? So that, it's not going to feel like it's, it's not going to go along the ground the whole way because your, your left arm and club aren't going to grow. It's going to work as a, go yeah, it's going to work as a wheel, like spokes kind of thing, right? And it's not going to buckle like this. It's not going to do some crazy buckling over this way, right, where it buckles back, right? Because we need that sense of structure and radius. You know, so as you move this nice structure, that club collects the ball, right? You got the ball on the stick and you're rotated really well. And then here's the inclined relationship of that. What I mean, what do I mean by inclined relationship? Well, 
you know, if I said, you can, when you look at a donut from the side, you can't see the hole, right? Over here, you know, here's a donut face on. Guess what you see? You see the hole, right? So now the club travels on an inclined donut, doesn't it? It's not traveling over the top. It's not, it's traveling perfect on an incline that collects the ball. That, and then that sense of structure in your arms, guess what that does? Rotates you, helps you get your booty underneath you. There's your little bit of side bend. You get my point? Great job.